you should be adding a voiceover in Final Cut Pro like this. I'll walk you through my easy enough for the beginners, but the pros still love it process for perfect voiceovers. And at the end, I'll show you how to quickly combine multiple takes into one epic voiceover. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to plug in and verify your mic. Once you have your mic plugged in, press Command Spacebar and start searching for sound. And then open up sound in system settings. You'll see here you have a bunch of different inputs. I'm using a blue Snowball USB mic. So I want to make sure that's selected. And then I can control the input volume right here. If I want it to be more quiet, I can drag it to the left. If I want it to be louder, to the right. All right, let's close that and go back to Final Cut Pro. All right, to record a voiceover, move your playhead where you want the voiceover to begin. Then go up to Window and select Record Voiceover, or press the keyboard shortcut Option Command 8. It'll pop up the Record Voiceover window. This button right here starts and stops our recordings. This right here tells us how loud we are. Watch what happens if I put the mic right next to me and I talk way loud, oh no! You'll see that it clipped and it became red. So you wanna make sure that you have the mic placed in the right spot and that you're not talking too loud. If it does clip, you can clear it by clicking on the red part right there. You can also adjust how loud it is by changing this input gain. I can make it quieter. Now it's not coming through at all. Or I can go up here to 10. Can we go above 10? Let's try 25. Nope, 10 is the max. We can also give our voiceover a name. This clip is a video of my wife looking at a smoked iguana and she's not so sure about eating that. All right, underneath here we have some advanced controls. We can change our input setting. So right now it's set to whatever the system is, is what and that's what I set up earlier, the blue snowball. But I can also change to my webcam, to my MacBook Pro microphone, whatever I want to use. I can also monitor myself. So if I want to listen to the input as I'm recording through headphones, I can turn on monitor. And then I can adjust that monitor volume by using this gain slider. Going to the left makes it quieter, to the right makes it louder. I can also use a countdown to record. With this enabled, Final Cut Pro will show three, two, one before it starts to record. I'll also mute the project while I'm recording. That way, any sounds from my project don't come out of the speakers and into the microphone, creating a loud feedback loop. I can also create an audition from takes. So I can group multiple takes into one audition and then select the best one I like. I'll show you how to do that later. Next, I'll select the vent where I want to store it and I can select the role. Dialogue is just fine for this. All right, I'm ready to start recording. So I'll click this button right here. Final Cut does a countdown. Leah does not want to eat that. And then when I'm done, I'll press stop recording. And you'll see down here, we have our voiceover. And if I play that back, you can hear it. Leah does not want to eat that iguana. I can find my voiceover in the browser. I'll select it in the timeline. I'll right click on it and I can select reveal in browser or just press shift F. And you'll see that Final Cut has highlighted my voiceover in the browser here. Now, before you record your voiceover, I gotta know, am I doing a good job? Am I being helpful? If so, will you give this video a thumbs up Thanks. In a little bit, I'm going to show you how to combine multiple takes into one voiceover. But first, I'll show you how to record multiple takes. All right, let's do multiple takes. So I'll put my playhead where I want to start, and then I'll click the record button. Final Cut will do its countdown. Mmm, iguana. Yes, please. Then I can press spacebar if I want to stop the recording. I can also use a keyboard shortcut to start and stop my recordings. I can press Option Shift A to start the recording. It'll do its countdown. Mm, no thanks, I'm not interested. And then I'll press Option Shift A again to stop the recording. All right, let's take a look at our different takes. So I'll select my voiceover and I'll go up to Clip and then I'll go to Audition and then select Open. Or even faster, I can just select the clip and then press Y. It'll pop up this Audition window here. I can cycle through my different takes by clicking on the different takes. I can also select a take and duplicate it if I want to make some changes to it, but keep the original one. So I can sample my takes by selecting it and pressing spacebar. You smoked it for how long? Once I'm satisfied with my take, I'll select it and then press done. All right, when you've selected your final take and you know that's the one you want to use, you just go up to Clip, Audition, and then select Finalize Audition, or press Option Shift Y, and it will finalize the audition. You'll notice that you no longer have the audition icon in the left-hand corner, and if you press Y, it doesn't bring up any audition window. It removed the other takes. I have a few different takes in this clip, so I want to combine them. So I'll select it, and then I'll go up to Clip, and I'll select Break Apart Clip Items, or I'll press Shift-Command-G to break them apart, and you'll see the different takes we have here. Now I can edit these as normal. I can trim them, I can move them around, I can delete them if I don't want it. We'll treat it just like any other normal clip. And now we have our voiceover. Mmm, iguana, yes please. You smoked it for how long? 
All right, now that you have your voiceover recorded, you're going to have to edit those sounds. I put together 12 rules for editing sound in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.